Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks Invest, where we're going to be talking about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's videos, for entertainment purposes only, the investments we're going to talk about today would be Ripple XRP. So this is actually a requested video from some of my viewers that I've been getting so far. And again, I want to say thank you so much for the appreciation and the understanding and your patience for watching my videos and showing the support. Uh, it really means a lot to me. So I'm going to go through a technical analysis to see where I see XRP going from here. Um, I actually invested in XRP a while back before, obviously, you know, uh, Coinbase decided to suspend and pr basically banning XRP or Ripple being on the platform, which I subsequently liquidate all my XRP holding onto uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum subsequently. So I'm going to go through where I see that the, the price point going from here based on the psychological and the macroeconomical perspective on the chart. And I'm also going to give you my price prediction of where I see the price going from here. So stay tuned, stick around, and let's make some money. Alright, so moving on to a technical analysis for XRP Ripple. Uh, so look at on a daily chart as of today, this morning, you could see that, you know, there was a flash crash that occurred. Uh, you could see that uh, ever since this morning, we're trading around like the dollar forty-five, a dollar fifty cents range, and then subsequent to that, because of the whole Bitcoin and the Ethereum sell-off across the whole cryptocurrencies market, it basically dragged down XRP, which is you know the pseudo, uh, the smaller uh, altcoin that subsequently had some correlations to the whole map, the market macro drag that happened earlier today, and we hit all the way to that ninety-four cents at one point, and currently we're doing some sort of like a dead cap bounce type of consolidated sideways movement. So this is the, the daily chart. Let's look at it on a daily perspective, but look at more of an annual perspective, okay? So look at this chart right now. You could see that um, I've been watching Ripple for quite some time now uh, because I was a pretty big investor back in the day when I was like floating around like the 10 cents area. And I subsequently sold it when it was about like 50 cents, 60 cents around that little pump that we saw like a quarter or two ago before obviously Coinbase decided to suspend and ban them permanently. Uh, but subsequent to that, you know, XRP rallied all the way up to close to even $2 at one point, uh, which was surprising to me. Uh, but also tells me a lot about manipulations, right? Because you see these green candles, these are big whales. Uh, or institutional investors that invested in it. And we know that these are not US-based investors because it's not available in the US. But internationally, uh, there were some big whales that you know manipulated this significantly, which subsequently drove this whole sell-off. You know, and now you're seeing this, uh, we're forming this downward wedge uh, that we were expecting to form. And uh, with respect to today's crash, the, the wedge is basically... Uh, no longer forming alongside with the trend line that we were forming before. It actually broke the resistance level that we were forming before. As you see that with this, with respect to this wedge, this was basically uh, a sideways, massive, motherly wedge consolidating play that was forming, going up, down, up, down, and then up. And my expectation before this crash today was that it was going to go sideways even more. And the pump was going to happen somewhere around like the early June, basically like a week or two from now. However, this is basically crossing down right now. So we have like some sort of like a premature crash that occur. And you see that we basically crashed down all the way from earlier this morning from like, again, right? The 140 cents level, 150 cents level, all the way down to one point like the 94, right? And the 94 was basically a consolidated level that we had back in April. Uh, not too long ago, right? If you look at that, we also happened back in April 24th, 25th, right? So this was basically a double resistance. Let's form another resistance level. And currently we bounce back up. But because of the fact that the, the, the crash was so uh, flashy uh, and so sudden that currently we don't have any like swarm of like consolidation or foundation that's building upon this right now. And just look at the MACD right now. We are basically crossed downward right now. Uh, so, and the bar is basically further even shifting away. So it, it will take some time for us to basically come back up before. But right now, I think if you look at this on the hourly chart right now, you can see that it's green. So it's trying to form some bottom over resistance. However, the resistance level is so shallow that we don't have anything to really sustain, right? Because there is lack of con concrete, 
to build this building uh, as a form of consolidation, as a foundation for this uh, investment opportunity that is really shaky with lack of volume, lack of investors' interest that I foresee as going to be forming some sort of a dead cap bounce comparable to like Bitcoin and comparable to like Ethereum of how they're forming right now. And I think that's what, exactly what's happening right now. You could see this kind of a downward scoop and you could see that on the MACD perspective, we are crossing downwards with, uh, it was going to take some time for us to come back. Right. And you see that RSI despite being oversold, which makes sense because of this major red candle we have here that I think the next resistance level that we go look out for will be somewhere around like the 94 cents level, which I think we will get there eventually. We need to basically fill this gap before we bounce back up again. And this will be another strong level of support that we would need to look out for. So if you think about buying in into around like this level, I think that could be a pretty interesting price point. Obviously you cannot buy this on Coinbase again, right? Coinbase suspend this for a reason, right? I think it has something to do with like legal liability or something along the line of fraud or something like that. So that that made me scare scares me away as an investor i don't when i see anything legal or any legal liability that ties to any investments that i'm trying to do uh i tend to stay away but if you are more of the adventurous ones uh i think the 94 cents the level which we form once twice three times and look at historically yeah the third time uh that is a pretty good base and if we don't, uh, the next level of support is going to be all the way down back here at the 63 cents, right? Which is basically another 50% correction from here, right? That's a pretty seismic move downwards. Uh, for that, I think that's uh, that's possible, but uh, unlikely knowing the fact that we have formed such a good base already. So if you were to invest in it, I would dollar cost average down here at the 94 cents again. If we go down even further, I think the next group level is going to be the 61 cents level and then we will bounce back up. But it's not going to happen that drastically, right? It's not going to go shop downwards. It's going to go down to this uh, again, right? The 94 cents. We're going to bounce up, consolidate a little bit and then contingent on how the macroeconomical trend is going to trend, contingent on XRP being more utilized or adopted across the, the ecosystem, then we'll see what happens, right? But in the near term, I think that could be an interesting opportunity for you to buy in. But obviously, don't throw your whole life savings into it, buying it just because it's like a dollar or 94 cents. Be frugal, be conservative, be safe out there. Uh, and that's the best way you could look at. All right, so just to recap on all the numbers that we talked about in a more simplistic sense. So for Ripple, for XRP, if you are interested in investing into this relatively new technology, uh, this relatively new cryptocurrencies, the levels to watch out for would be somewhere around here, right? I think the first level to look out for would be the 105, just because of the, you know, just the flat number. Psychologically speaking, people tend to like to invest when it hits to a certain flat number levels, and one dollar would be the first resistance level that we'll be seeing. And then for with respect to the actual resistance level that we had, which was 90, 94, 93 cents, this will be a good price point for you to get into. But if we break that, the next level is going to be 60 cents, right? So it's a pretty steep crash if we go down by like almost like 30 cents from there, 33 cents to be more exact, right? That's a pretty steep drop if you own a lot of XRP, right? Just because it's cheap, people tend to buy a lot and the fluctuations can be pretty drastic, right? So that's a level to look out for. If we even get down further, right, which is the 46, uh, the 45 cents level, which we basically drag, basically XRP was dragging his ass the whole time to get up to the 60. And then once it got to the 60 because of the Bitcoin adoption, the Coinbase adoption, you know, with respect to the IPO, it blew up to the 60 and then subsequently con like further push upward in a more of a euphoric perspective that it got there. So 45 cents unlikely, but that's a steal. I think 60 cents and 93 cents i think 93 cents has like a 75 percent of probability that, that we're gonna get there i think 60 would be would be like 40 percent and then 45 would be like a 10 percent probability of us getting there and with respect to a year price target i think um i think two dollars and 95 cents contingent on obviously all the macroeconomical shift that we're gonna go towards the utilization of the xrp Based on historical trends on how we're shifting going forward with just the resistance line that we've been forming on the escalator curve word, I think $2.95 wouldn't be surprising to me if we ever get there again, knowing the fact that I think a couple of years ago, uh, at one point, uh, XRP actually hit that $3 mark uh, in the beginning of the cycle, right? And then subsequently we had to at that bear market and subsequently rally back up again. And right now, I think it still has some opportunity to pump up. 
but obviously right now it's kind of like consolidating and there's a lot of uh, public perceptions around like the legality of XRP and the international adoption, which is, you know, still TBD, at, you know, to be honest with you. But if that happens, and again, this is more of a conservative side, I think it could probably even get higher than 295 that with respect to buying it at the dollar mark uh, or 93 cents mark, that will subsequently generate, up, you know, you upward of 180% gain or 200% gains, depending on what price point you're buying into. Subsequently generating a three times your return or 2.8 times your return from here. All right, so really appreciate you guys for dropping uh, dropping by again uh, to listen in on the XRP technical analysis. Again, the more of a risky cryptocurrency play, in my opinion, this a little bit more volatile with more hairy, uh, you know, uh, legality issues around it. So it's definitely more of a, you know, unique investments with uh, with a specific type of uh, risk appetite, if you may. But I uh, really appreciate you guys for dropping by, listening in. Uh, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell. Uh, watch out for my next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.